Ok, let's see how we do. Ok, so, ¿qué has estado haciendo? That would be the question. ¿Qué has estado haciendo? ¿Qué has estado haciendo? So, my answer would be, eh, do you remember what parse is? Yes, I do. Ok, ok, so, parse, eh, he estado estudiando mucho acerca de marketing digital y ah, sí, por supuesto, sí. Consiguiendo clientes. ¿Desde qué dispositivo estás conectado? ¿Desde qué dispositivo estás conectado? Sí. So, what do you understand from this question? Uh, since I have um, a dispositivo, es la palabra no conozco, pero no sabe, pero... Device. Remember, dispositivo sí, sí. is device. Dispositivo. So, what sí. from what device are you online or are you connected? Sí. Okay, I had that right. Uh, ahora en mi celular. Ah, pensé que te habías conectado desde el computador. No, no, no funcionado con esta aplicación. Yo necesito um, descargar un copia por uh, Mozilla o Chrome. Mm, sí, yo creo que puedes, yo creo que puedes conectarte como una versión, como una versión web, como por WhatsApp. Sí, oh, okay, lo sí. hace. Hay una versión web. Pones Telegram web y la conexión es muy parecida a la de, a la de WhatsApp. O sea, con un código okay, QR bueno, bueno. sincronizas el, el dispositivo. So, uh, okay, how about you? ¿Qué has estado haciendo? ¿Qué has estado haciendo? Ah, en este momento estoy muy bien porque es como estoy libre uh, hoy. Y, pero las semanas pasadas fueron horribles porque ahora es solo yo y mi trabajo y mi asistente, una ella se para en un domingo. Y la otra es loca también. So, entonces, no sé. Like, I don't know what I'm going to do, but it's, like, too much work. O sea, ¿tienes dos asistentes? Uh, ahora no tengo nada, pero en la semana pasada tuve dos. Un en enero hasta el medio de febrero y un la primera parte de marzo. A la miércoles pasado. Hasta el miércoles pasado. Hasta sí. el miércoles pasado. Sí, Hasta sí. el miércoles pasado. Pero entonces ella renunció. ¿Qué pasó? Uh, ella no le gusta trabajar en las noches. Por ejemplo, cuando nosotros tenemos diferentes cosas en la escuela, después tres o cuatro, uh, ella no le gusta. Entonces ella se pasó. Um, domingo, like Sunday was her last day. No fue su último día. Domingo fue su último día. I mean, vos trabajas muchísimo. ¿Cuántas horas estás trabajando al día? Oh, no, mejor no, dicho, es como... Es depende, es depende, pero... Es como... Siete días cada semana es, es demasiado días y es como diez o doce horas cada día. Oh, my God. Eso es muchísimo. Eso es sí, demasiado. Sí. No, y... pero yo tengo un gran meta y yo necesito trabajar muy duro por esa. Pero, ¿cuál es la meta en este momento? Uh, mi meta es... Um, uh, no sé a uh, explicar en inglés o español, pero no es un número, pero es tener un vida a donde yo no necesito trabajar y toda mi vida está en línea y con diferentes um, diferente casas a uh, ganar dinero también. <risa> ok, um... En ese momento estás viendo mi cámara. En este momento estás viendo mi cámara. ¿Tu cámara? Yeah. Uh, no, I can't see your camera right now. Okay. 
Yeah, I thought so. Okay, no problem. Um, so, si tienes todo el dinero, si tienes, si tienes el dinero que quieres, o mejor dicho, ¿cómo, cómo quieres vivir? ¿Cómo quieres vivir en los próximos cinco años? Cinco años. Si tuvieras eh, todo el dinero del mundo. Y yo quiero vivir en, en mi casa, pero yo quiero pasar meses en Colombia y otras partes del mundo también, como dos, sema, dos meses aquí, dos meses en Colombia, dos en Indonesia, dos en, no sé, Bulgaria o Italia también. ¿Y qué, ¿Y qué harías entre semana normalmente? ¿Qué harías entre semana normalmente? Uh, de verdad, uh, relajar, estudiar, leer, uh, disfrutar. Es la cosa que yo quiero hacer. <risa> ok, ok, fair enough. Yo quiero tu so, vida, de verdad. Yeah, I understand. Like... Para mí, para mí, eh, a mí me gusta, a mí me gusta lo que hago en este momento, en este momento, pero, 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 eh, si quiero como salirme de la parte operativa de los negocios, ¿entiendes lo que te quiero decir? Sí, sí, te gusta el trabajo, pero... Eh, sí, yo creo que tú tienes un pasión por digital marketing. Eh, nah, I mean, no diría que es pasión, es más como una necesidad, una necesidad, a ver, ¿cómo, cómo te lo diría? Eh, como me doy cuenta que todos los negocios tienen esa necesidad. Sí, oh, sí me sí. hago entender. Entonces... Creo que es como un, un puente que puedo utilizar para alcanzar y mantener el estilo de vida que quiero. Sí, sí. ¿Sí? ¿Qué tal? Sí. Entonces, es por eso, porque, pues, vos sabes que quiero alcanzar también las seis cifras. ¿Sí entiendes las seis cifras? Es the, like, ways. Six figures. Sí. Que oh, quiero alcanzar... Okay. Y yo sé que con el marketing digital se puede hacer. O sea, yo sé que con el marketing digital se puede alcanzar esas seis cifras y, y tú sabes que, que si uno alcanza esa meta, pues ya es muchísimo más fácil viajar. Y no solo eso, sino que también es, un, es, es una actividad que se puede hacer remoto. O sea, se puede volver un nómada digital entonces eh, ayuda mucho, o sea, es como, me parece que es el, el camino más corto, camino más corto para empezar a viajar, empezar a viajar y eh, hacer dinero a distancia. Sí. Dinero a distancia. Do you understand this concept, a distancia? Uh... Es como like the shortest distance, ¿no? It's the shortest path to sí. start traveling and make money remotely. Sí, sí. Okay, so, yeah. So, I mean, like, it's still better than what I have been doing in the last few years. Um, and I think that, I mean, we want to kind of, How do you say that? To jump onto new activities that you enjoy better than the ones that you were doing? Like you, for example, you're uh, doing this stuff at the school. Are you still working at, uh, you were working at a supermarket, weren't you? Sí, sí, sí. Uh, estoy, uh, no, yo tengo dos empleados ahora. Like I still do both. Mm, okay. Tienes, tienes los dos. O sea, sí. aún estás trabajando en los dos. So you would say that aún estoy... Like this. Yeah, aún I want to see a that book. I have two employees. Aún estoy, aún trabajando, estoy trabajando en ambos lugares. Ambos lugares, sí. 
Yeah, because tengo dos emple empleados. Just like I have two employees. Yeah, employees. Yes, that is that word. Okay, so you were telling me that you you didn't find or you didn't know how to get to the stories on Duolingo, right? Uh, no, no. Ahora yo conozco, sí. Pero uh, yo recomiendo uh, historias para usted porque yo creo que es más interesante. La historia ¿Cómo? de... ¿Cómo así? La ¿Qué quieres decir? Uh, Las cuentas en Duolingo son... Son chévere, pero son es tanto estúpido a veces. <risa> pero me gusta, me gusta. Eh, lo que pasa es que en Duolingo la idea es que puedas entender lo que se está enseñando y lo que se está mostrando. Ese es como el propósito de la aplicación, pero igual, sí. o sea, es a mí me parece que Duolingo es una de las mejores formas de, de aprender. No, o sea, muy... por eso... No, sí, sí. Por eso es que te he dicho mucho, o sea, que practiques, que practiques, que practiques, porque realmente es, esto es de mucha repetición, es de muchísima repetición, y si no estás practicando, se te va a olvidar lo que vas aprendiendo. So, for example, in this one, I want to know how you would translate this exercise into Spanish. Do you think I could have a sleepover at, um, I guess it's Maria's house tonight? Sí. So, how would you translate this one in Spanish? ¿Piensas que yo puedo tener un, no sé la palabra for sleepover, en la casa sleepover. de Maria? Una pijamada. Un, una pijamada en la casa de Maria. Yes, tonight, what is it? Uh, tonight, um, en esta noche. Esta noche, okay. Um, so let's see again. ¿Crees que podría hacer una pijamada en la casa de María esta noche? Go ahead once again. ¿Crees que podría hacer una pijamada en la casa de María esta noche? Yes, perfect. Um, okay, so I've got If this you question buy a house for as you. an investment, um, your goal is to make money with it in the future. Could you hear what I was hearing? Could you listen to the audio? Uh, sí. Yeah. Okay, so this is my question. Um, ¿cuánto, ¿Cuánto dinero eh, quieres invertir? ¿Quieres invertir para tener el estilo de vida que quieres? Ah, es una buena pregunta. No sé, porque... Um, la situación aquí es, es, es dura, es como 25% um, más este año del año pasado y ellos creen um, que los precios estarán bajos en la próxima mes, pero no sé. ¿Qué quieres decir con 25%? Es like 25% like more now, like uh, no sé la palabra, like uh, in, inflación. You mean, oh, ok, ok, ok. La inflación, la inflación en este, oh, you mean this year? Sí. That it, it increased 25% this year? Is sí. that what you meant? Sí, sí, la inflación, la inflación este año subió un 25%. So go ahead, pronunciation. La inflación este año subió un, no, un 25%. La inflación este año subió un 25%. Ok, so uh, what were you saying uh, after this? No sé, espero que nosotros tengamos um, oportunidades nuevas ahora porque la situación es... Is, is Dora is como like I think we're gonna have new like opportunities and like I hope we do. Como yo quiero trabajar en línea, <laughs> entonces mm -hmm. no no sé exacto. Um, ¿Qué opciones has considerado para trabajar para trabajar a distancia? 
Um, it, it's depend. Um, ahora yo quiero terminar uh, todas mis cuentas, como uh, la cuenta por mi casa, todas las cosas como esa. Y después de eso, mi dura, sí. Después de eso, estoy abre por... Uh, Estaré abre por todo. Estaré qué? What, what did you mean there? Abrir, like I'll be open for anything. Oh, ok, ok. Estaré, estaré abierto a lo que sea. Por... Sí. Estaré abierto a lo que sea. Eh, yeah, eh, por eso es que, por eso es que te he estado diciendo lo del marketing digital, lo del marketing digital. Podrías ir aprendiendo para que eventualmente eh, empieces a trabajar con esta, con estas habilidades. Eh, ¿Qué entiendes de esta, de esta, de este parrafito? What, what do you understand from this paragraph? How would you translate it? Um, for this, that is why you, or no, um, for that, that is why I have said that I should be learning digital marketing uh, because eventually I can start to work like with those companies and people. So, yeah, uh, yeah. So it would be, that's why I've been telling you. Sí, to, sí. I've been telling you about digital marketing. So I'm not saying that you didn't get the idea. I'm just conveying that this is the most accurate way to translate it, okay? Oh, sí, so sí, por supuesto. Uh, so you could, uh, podrías ir aprendiendo, you could be, you could start learning. So eventually you can start working with these skills or you get work with these skills. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, like I was, I was uh, commenting a, a post on YouTube of a guy that I'm learning digital marketing from. And I was like, dude, like I'm already, I'm already getting like, uh, you, you understand the concept of ROI, ROI? No. No, I mean, like return oh, on investment. Return on investment? Sí, sí. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So in, in, in digital marketing, there is this concept, instead of ROI, is ROAS, R-O-A-S, which is return on ad spent. Okay. So I was telling him that it's, it's pretty much the same thing. And I was like, dude, I've already got a ROAS of 2.5 on a, on a campaign that I'm running. And uh, I was like, well, I hope to get the six figures in a couple of years, like, hopefully. <laughs> and he was like, um, have you watched any of the videos that I've been uh, um, sending you? It's just, sí. um, it's, it's, it, all these people, they just figure money out. Like, these guys, they just figure money out. And he was no, like, dude, that couple of They, 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 he was like, dude, two years is too long. Like, I mean, try to do that by the end of this year. <laughs> so, sí. I don't know. It's probably a mental block, but yeah, I, I don't know. Like even two years for me seems like, like a huge, like a huge accomplishment. And, and that's if I, if I do get there, like, I don't even know if I would get there, but no, I mean, you can, no, um, Vas a hacer eso, de verdad. Ah, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm still pushing, I'm still pushing, but it's, uh, it's kind of unreal. Like, I, I've been speaking about this topic for a while now, and uh, it's kind of unreal for us, because you know this, like, making a six figures, I mean, $150,000 per year is like making $600,000 in the U.S. You know this. Sí, sí. So, so pero, that's why it's kind of, what? Pero la cosa es, ahora la gente no, no conoce o no sabe a dónde eh, vives, a, vivas ahora. It's como, like, people won't know you're in Colombia. 
Oh, no, no, they, they, they won't know. But yeah, I mean, it's just the fact of figuring out the, the right systems, like all the, the stuff regarding businesses. So I can actually get there because, I mean, if I'm making $150,000 a year, uh, I, would, I would still have to pay $50,000 50, um, $50, to the government because we pay 33% on taxes. So it's like, I mean, it's what it is, but, but that's what I'm kind of, what? Y cuéntame eso, um, o dímele o eso, es, ahora te gusta cambiar la escuela en línea, Spanglish 360, o no? You mean if, if, if. Like, do you still want to grow that company as well, or no? I mean, it's what I'm. Where I get 80% of my income from currently, but I don't know if, I mean, like I do know some language schools that are making way more than that. I mean, baseline, you know, that they have been making like 8 million per year. So it's kind of like sí. a very uh, achievable goal if we, if we take into account that perspective, but I don't know, like, I'm, I'm like you in that sense because I'm like, whatever I see that is going to give me the six figures quicker and easier, uh, I'll go there. Like, I, right now I'm doing this, but I don't know if, if I'll, I'll stay doing this. So, and that's one of the things that I have been um, reading about and watching about is that they say that most likely the first business that you that you get is not the one that you're going to stick with. So, and it makes sí. sense. It makes sense because if you're making money with other things, with other skills, I don't know, maybe I do get good at digital marketing and I start getting hired by huge companies that pay me the hundred and 150k thousand uh, dollars a year well uh, why am i going to stick with the things that are not giving me a, a return on investment as high as the ones that i can get so because at the end like we all want to 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 make as much money as we can in the shortest period of time possible so sí. yeah that's uh, pretty much how i'm i'm watching it i'm not i'm not um I'm just uh, like open to the ideas. I'm implementing everything that I'm learning on my academy on these courses and stuff. Um, but I don't know if I if I'm going to stick with it. Like, I mean, if I do get there with the academy, of course I'm going to stick with it. But if I see money that I can make more money in the same amount of time with other things, businesses, um, I don't know, whatever, then uh, I will probably bounce. Uh, I don't know. I mean. We'll, we'll we'll just have to see what happens, and and the same goes sí. here. It's just um, it's uh, the inflation is is just hitting real hard here. So, like I don't know how people with a minimum wage are they uh, handling the situation, but it's what it is. So, man, mm -hmm. let's continue here. What? Y como me una otra cosa, por ejemplo, ahora en Medellín es como la alquiler es la misma o ahora es más más bajo la inflación en general está por ahí entre un 25 y 35 por ciento ok sí comparado con años anteriores eh, bueno, sí. pero si eres un extranjero igual es muy barato o sea sí sí <risa> O sea, si eres extranjero, incluso eh, estos días está hablando con un agente de bienes raíces. Do you remember what that is? No. Un agente de bienes raíces. Oh, Uno es más. Agente de bienes raíces. Can you see my screen there? Un agente. What is Real it? Say. Sí. Agents. Yeah. Oh, no, agent. Sí. Ok, so, yo estaba hablando con él y, y él me decía que en el poblado y, 
y en Laureles no había no había lugares para alquilar. So, okay. Hay muchos, muchos nómadas digitales, muchos eh, pensionados. Do you understand that? Sí, sí. Muchos pensionados, muchos viajeros. And, um, estos días, en las últimas semanas, ya habilitaron la visa de de nómada digital, entonces muchos extranjeros están viniendo para Colombia. Así que, eh, pues eso en cierto modo es bueno, eso en cierto modo es bueno porque pues mejora la economía de la ciudad. Pero, sí. pero, pero sí, o sea, para la gente de acá, para la gente de Colombia, para los de Medellín, sí ha estado difícil, o sea, la situación sí ha estado muy difícil, la gasolina... No, pues la gasolina se supone que van a duplicar el precio. So, oh, uh, sí. the gallon was like 9k cup and they are gradually increasing the price every month like a hundred pesos. Sí. But, I mean, like they say that but by the end of this year it's going to be 18k cup per gallon. Um So it's like crazy, like people are just not uh, taking this so well. It's, it's just, uh, we're almost, right now, we're, we're filling up the gas. It's like 50% more expensive than it was like since this prick got into office, the new president. <laughs> In Colombia so, or Los Estados Unidos? No, in Colombia, in Colombia. Oh, like, uh, have you read about him? Sí, sí. Yeah, he's just a uh, a moron. He's like, <laughs> like he 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 talked everybody into thinking that we were going to live better and all of that bullshit. But the truth is that life is becoming way more expensive than it was when COVID hit. So sí, it's like, sí. It's just ridiculous. But anyway, okay. Hey, let's have a look at this. Let's see how you do. So if you buy a house okay. as an investment, your goal is to make money with that in the future. Que significa investment? Sí. Si so, compras, okay, investment is... Okay, go ahead. Okay. Si compras una casa como una inversión, su meta es hacer... Your. De... Es so hacer it's... dinero con él en el futuro. Yeah, that's good. Tu meta es hacer dinero con él en el futuro. Yes. Um, te iba a preguntar algo más. Tú me has dicho que, tú me has dicho que tienes amigos eh, con dinero. Pues que son como ricos. Sí. Eh, ellos te están enseñando. Ellos te están enseñando cómo hacer dinero. Uh, ok, ellos... No sé, es como... No es... enseñar cómo hacer dinero, pero es hacer un... Um, un skill o un cosa um, muy único. What do you mean? Like uh, mi hermano Aaron tiene la habilidad um, a hacer un piso, un diferente tipo de máquinas es uh -huh. no es muy común. Es como uh, I own plastic. Like he like puts like a flooring in factories and it's like not common. Entonces, uh -huh. él tiene la habilidad a hacer mucho dinero con eso porque no hay mucho competen uh, competición. Mucha competencia. Mucho competencia, sí. Eh, y él te está enseñando eso. Uh, su hermano y él mm, tiene la idea yo creo que so but is he teaching you is he oh, teaching no, you no no 
No, es okay. como él no quiere la otra es conocer o saber, no conocer, saber eso, porque a él le gusta um, ser la solo compañía como esa. What do you mean? Like he likes being the only company doing that in our area. Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> sí. That's... Pero yeah, de like... verdad, no, no quiero. Yo quiero tener uh, uh, mi, mi estilo es diferente. Like my style is different. Uh, uh-huh. Yo quiero yeah, tener no. diferente. I was... Like he ways. needs to work for it. Like, I don't want, like, yo quiero tener dinero residuales. Okay, okay, fair enough. I was actually, I, I've been trying to, 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 to get the people that I, I mean, my father is not rich, but his business is doing kind of okay. And I see a lot of, a lot of growing opportunity in his business because, I mean, one of the things that suck about my business is that the teachers can slow away the, the students, you know this. So, sí. but my father's business hasn't got that problem because he's the only one that has contact with the customers. Of course, there is competition, but it's like, outside competition like you're not actually competing with your own employees you understand what i mean sí. it's kind of a like the normal average competition that every other company has uh and also with my uncle that i have told you that he's got a few businesses and i was trying to to get into those but they're just uh kind of the same thing like they don't want people getting into their stuff, it's like, dude, like, there's no downside for you. I'm just going to help you grow more, but sí. anyway, <laughs> y la whatever. Finca sus, la finca en sus fotos, ¿dónde es eso? It's a nice shirt, but the color is es en Barbosa. Esa finca es en Barbosa. Es, esa finca es en Barbosa a una hora de Medellín. Ay, a una hora de Medellín. Mis abuelos y la mayoría de mis tíos nacieron allá. What does this say in English? Okay, uh, my grandparents and majority of my aunts and uncles are born there. Yes, we were born there uh, born. and it's one hour away from Medellín. Uh, sí. As a matter of fact, um, that country house belongs to also one of the richest people that I know. Um, but it's the same. Like, it's just so difficult to get to get them to, like, it's just difficult for you to provide value to them that they see, like, okay, let's, let's, let's uh, have this person on board. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's just sí. uh, like. It's it's kind of difficult to 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 persuade them into like okay I've got this for you like I can help you with this stuff in exchange for you to to take me on board and and learn from you as well but yeah anyway <laughs> um, so let's have a look at this one it's a nice shirt but the color is too big how would you okay. translate this one es una camisa uh, linda pero el, uh, pero el cuello es demasiado grande. Color. El cuello es this, demasiado grande. This is, does this make sense to you, the English phrase? It's a like, nice but shirt, the but the color is too big. Sí. See? It does? Okay. Sí. I didn't know this one, though. Color. Cuello. So the eh, color, color is the es, is the of the of the of, of clothes. It's when we're speaking about clothes. Uh, would we use color when when speaking about a necklace? A necklace. Uh, it's different. Un collar or cuello in su like a color on your shirt is like is la parte is 
quando yeah. tu usa so un you... corbota, is like so... what your tie goes under. Yeah, where where you like put your head through when you're putting yeah. on the the, the t shirt. Well, but not I every didn't know this word. One. Yeah. Not every. No, it's como. Uh... Can you can you look for pictures on on Google and send it via? Uh, uh... Can you see my camera now? Uh, let me see if I can see it. Yes, I can. Let's see. Como. Eso es la cosa, este parte. Yes. Solo eso. Okay. Okay, I think I can show myself as well. But let, oh, but... Okay, share video. Okay, there you can see me, can't you? Sí. Uh, hey, you're hey. sharing your screen. Okay, okay, let's see if I can... Okay, can you see my screen there? Sí, sí. Okay, so I guess right now you can see my camera and my screen at the same time, can't you? Yeah, exacto, see. Sí. Okay, cool. Yeah, I find this tool very useful. The problem is that it's kind of, it's not intuitive enough for, for using. Like, <laughs> you've got to play around with that quite a bit. For example, if I wanted to give you a call directly on Telegram, I wouldn't be able to share my screen recorded and show my camera at the same time. Like oh. I must create a group and then from the group, I create a video conference. I start the recording, I start the camera and then I invite you to it so we can do the video conference and do all of these and, and take advantage of all these tools to record See. the session. Uh, but it's pretty useful because it's what I have been looking for <laughs> years ago. You know this. It's, uh, sí, it's la very, very es muy buena. It's very good. Why do you use it? Uh, I downloaded it back in the day one time. Maybe Fio was having a hard time with Zoom or something, and we used mm -hmm. it. Oh, okay. Okay. But Fair I think enough. the quality's good on this. Yes. The other thing, for example, is that um, it can only be used, like all the features can only be used on mobile devices. When uh, I sign into the web thing, um, I, I, I wasn't, I couldn't figure out a way to do all the things. I don't remember if it's a recording feature that cannot be found. I don't remember which is the one that I cannot use. I don't remember if it's the recording or the camera. There's one feature that I can't use on my PC, so it's got to be from a mobile device. Oh, okay, bueno, so, bueno, see. Sí. Okay, so uh, let's continue. So this is a good one, Cuello, because uh, I didn't even know that one myself. It's the first it's time that I see that, like, it's the first time that I realized that I didn't know how to call this thing. It's color. Good one. Sí. Learning as well. <laughs> um, okay, so another thing uh, I wanted to mention about the previous example is that it said, it said, Linda, as men, we wouldn't say that in Spanish. That sounds too gay. Exacto, <laughs> sí. I would say, la camiseta está bacana. I would, that's, this is what I would say, la camiseta está bacana. Sí, o oh, está chévere. Yeah, exactly. But Linda, that sounds like, like, too much. <laughs> sí. That's what I, that's what a woman would say. But a man, um, I would be like, eh, I wouldn't get drunk with you. <laughs> okay, so okay. Let's do this one. Looking after a snake isn't easy. You have to take it. Uh, I guess it seriously. Sí. So how would you translate this one? Mirando después una serpiente no es fácil. Necesitas o tienes que tomarlo en serio. Yes. Yeah, so remember that look after is a phrasal verb that you sí. should not translate word by word uh, from English to Spanish. It's something that you must memorize. Sí, um, da cuidado yeah. por una serpiente. Cuidar. That would be cuidar. Cuidar a, una, yeah. cuidar a una serpiente no es fácil. Tienes que tomártelo en serio. Let's do the pronunciation again. Down the okay. screen you can read the text. Go ahead. Sí. 
cuidar a una serpiente no es fácil, tienes que tomártelo en serio. Okay, good. Um, I hate so shopping for the brass. next one. I hate shopping for brass. <laughs> okay. Uh, odio, uh, odio buscar. I hate to look, uh, buscar que sostienes. Sostenes. Sostenes. Um, odio buscar sostenes. Thing is that this is not a direct translation. So no. uh, let's, let's, yeah. So how would you translate this better? Like. I hate shopping for brass. Uh, no me gusta o odio uh, comprando los sostenes. Odio comprar sostenes. sostenes. Sí. Now, uh, okay, another thing is sostenes. I mean, that's okay. I wouldn't use that word, though. Um, the word that I would use for brass would be brasieres. Brasieras. Yes, sí. brass. <laughs> that's the one that we usually use in Spanish. At least here, that's the one that I listen to 98, 99% of the time. So, sí. Stan is so weird. It's, I don't know, I, we just don't use it. Um, okay, the other one, Odio Buscar. Yeah, because Buscar is to look for. You, you know that, right? Sí. Okay, so, yeah, this is not a direct translation. This is one of the things that, I mean, Duolingo has done a great job, but sometimes it's, it, it's not perfect. Like, these mistakes, like, that, they're, they shouldn't exist anymore uh, with all the development that it has had in, what, 10 years? I don't know. Sure. Yeah, almost 10 years. This shouldn't exist anymore, but... Okay, let's continue. Um... Que odias, <laughs> let's, let's uh, create a question out of that example. Que odias, que odias. No, que colores. Oh. This uh, one, que... how do you understand? Que odias. What do I hate to comprar? buy? Yes, going shopping. Uh, yeah. No me gusta a comprar, <laughs> like I hate shopping. Okay, 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 in general? Sí. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Um, the next one. This code isn't thick enough. Uh, este abrigo no es suficiente. No, no es como thick. Thick. Thick, thick is grueso. No es lo suficientemente thick. grueso. Grueso. Um, por el invierno. Estarás demasiado frío. So your translation was actually very direct, but it's not what we say. Because sí. remember that we don't say you'll be too cold. We say you'll have... Oh. Too much cold. Sí. You remember? So how would you translate that? Like, you'll have um, too much cold. Tú tienes demasiado frío. Tú tendrás. Tú tendrás tú demasiado tendrás. frío. Mm -hmm. Sí. Yes. That, that is the most natural way to say it. The translation that you gave me was the, the most direct one, which I usually agree on. But uh, it's uh, this one, for this one, it's not the most natural one, which I also uh, try to push. So, okay, let's see. Este abrigo no es lo suficientemente grueso para el invierno. Remember, thick, grueso, tendrás demasiado frío. Let's do the pronunciation once again. Go ahead. Okay. Este abrigo no es lo suficientemente grosero para el invierno. Tendrás demasiado frío. Grueso, once again. Grueso. Yes. Good. Um, I have got to one. drink more water. I've got to drink more water. Okay. Uh, tengo que tomar más agua. Tengo que tomar más agua. Good. ¿Cuántas tazas de café 
o cuántos vasos de café. Ah, oh, es triste, nunca, no me gusta café. What? Seriously? Sí, no, nunca, nunca, nunca. ¿Cómo haces para recargar energía? Uh, Coca Light o agua. <laughs> ok, ok, fair enough. ¿Y cu cuántos litros de líquido consumes al día o tomas al día? Uh, no sé, pero seis o siete tazas de agua cada día y uno o dos latas de Coca-Cola Light. Ok, ok, fair enough. Um, the next one. It's bad, but it's bueno. Like I, I know it's bad for you, but I like the taste. No, I, I, I understand. Um, yo lo que hago normalmente es que eh, por un por un tercio de Coca Cola Light le pongo dos tercios de agua. How do you translate that? Uh, one thing of Coke Light, they put two things of water. For one third of light Coca-Cola Coke, I yeah. add two thirds of water. Oh, That's what okay. I usually do. Yeah, because I, I, I don't like water. Like I, it's For me, it's just tasteless. Uh, so yeah. I hate it. Like I, I hate tasteless stuff. I'm not the most, the pickiest person when it comes to food, but I mean, like, water is the tasteless shit you can ever drink. Uh, <laughs> it can be sí. so healthy, but but it's just tasteless to me, so I don't enjoy it whatsoever. But I do this; it gets a little bit of taste without it being so unhealthy. So I think sí. it's kind of the Sweet spot. <laughs> no, okay, it's so, yeah. uh, Let's do the next one. Um, Costa Rica is a great destination for anyone who loves surfing. People um, rarely... Um, okay, what is this? People don't travel there. To, is that really, uh, for anyone who loves, People oh, often travel often, there. Often, often travel there to surf. So sí. how would you translate this one into Spanish? Okay. Uh, Costa Rica... Es un destino gran por la gente que encanta surfear. Um, la gente viajar aquí a, men aquí a menudo a surfar. Viaja allá a menudo a surfear. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what is rarely in Spanish? Uh, no sé. Raramente. Rarely. Raramente, sí. Yeah, so let's have a look at this one. So, Costa Rica es un destino excelente. Uh, you could also say un destino genial para sí. quien le encanta surfear. surfear. La gente a menudo gente viaja menudo. allá yeah. para surfear. Let's see the pronunciation once again. Go ahead. Sí. Costa Rica es un destino excelente para quien le encanta surfear. La gente a menudo viaja allá para surfear. Surfear. Yes. Um, ¿Qué porcentaje de estudiantes? ¿Qué porcentaje de estudiantes no hablan inglés en la escuela que trabajas? Uh, 10%. Un 10%. ¿Y cómo aprenden inglés? Uh, ellos aprenden con inmersión y en las clases uh, ESL. Pero es mucho africanos y mucho mexicanos. Okay, y ahora nosotros right. tenemos muchos estudiantes de Venezuela. Seriously? Sí, me gusta. Okay, cool. So have you have you had a chance to practice with them? Sí, mucho. Yeah, what do they say? <laughs> uh, un dice es, uh, ¿estás de Colombia? 
Seriously. <laughs> sí, en serio, en serio. Es, uh, ya, ya, es como, uh, uh, yo recuerdo, es como ayuda. Ok, 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 y, yeah. Like, I said something like that, and they were like, the ya, Sam. Like, they were like, where are you from? Like, me llamo. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, we don't, like, um, I don't know if Mexican people have that listening skills so so sharp, but Colombians, we don't. Like, we just, like, I know that, that there are, like, five different ways to pronounce the fucking Y, but I'm like, uh, we just, I just don't know. It's very small difference that we can barely recognize the difference. It's just difficult for us to recognize the difference. So this yeah. one, quien sostenía el perro mientras la puerta está abierta. So, okay, let's do a pronunciation of this one. Go ahead. Uh, quien sostenía el perro mientras la puerta estaba abierta. So remember that is a question. So oh, uh, try to add. Quien sostenía el perro mientras la puerta estaba abierta. Estaba abierta. Quien sostenía el perro mientras la puerta estaba abierta. I don't know this one. Held. Is this something that you would say in, in English? Who held the dog, see? Who held the dog while the door was open. It's, it's amazing. This uh, Duolingo does surprise me almost every time that I open it. Like, yeah. I've been studying English for years now, and I didn't know who held. Yeah, I, 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 I would have guessed this one wrong. <laughs> I, I wouldn't yeah. have known how to say how to say this one. Who held the dog while the door was open? So it's what I've been telling you. It's a lot of practice, and this is just as close. Like you've got a personal, um, a personal assistant with you. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, how are you uh, practicing pronunciation on your own? Uh, estaba practicando con Duolingo. Um, estaba... uh, are you? Are you paying for the premium version of Duolingo? No, 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 no. Do they give you pronunciation exercises on the go? Uh, no, pero en la computadora es posible a uh, usa mi micrófono hablar y la computadora escribir. It's como like I will talk right. and then like my computer will write. Yeah, and that kind of helps. speech. Yeah, like speech to text. That's sí. exactly the very thing that I was going to tell you. That is the exact way how you can take advantage of the of the devices. And you can do that with Google Translate yourself. Like for example, you can you can uh, on Duolingo write down the words or the phrases that you like and that you would like to memorize to use them eventually in a real life conversation. And then you can actually sit down with Google Translate from Spanish to English And uh, you would say the word in Spanish, and if it types in the word that you were trying to say, it means that you pronounce it uh, sí. well. So, yeah, that's actually the easiest way for you, the free easiest way for you to practice pronunciation without actually being in a live class. So, it's, sí, it's, sí. Yeah, it's a very good way to do it. Uh, so, cool. let's do the next one. Um, sostuve el pajarito en las manos. Go ahead, pronunciation. Sostuve el pajarito en las manos. Um, so what's, what's that? I held the bird in my hands. How? Oh, the little bird. The, the ah, little, little bird. bird. Exactly, in my hands, yeah. Remember, pajarito. Hands. Now, I'm going to... <laughs> there is a, a saying... Um, that we, we, we would say the little bird, uh, for example, if we were hanging out and you just came out of the restroom and you've got the zip, the, the zipper, is it the zipper down? Sí. Yeah. Someone might say like, Hey, the little bird is going to escape. So it's bueno, kind of sí, a joke, sí. kind of bullying no, people no, like when no, you're no, with your gusta. dudes. So that's something that we say every now and then, like, hey, the little, well, the, the little bird is going to go to get out. <laughs> so that means that your zipper is down. So, yeah. Um, I don't know if I have ever taught you that one. No, um, no, no. Okay. Bueno. So let's do, let's do another one real quick. Y ahora es nueve y yo necesito ir a, um, 
afuera de mi casa con mi, mi sobrina y mi esposa, pero es posible mañana por la misma hora. Ok, sure, let's do that. Ok. Ok, man, I'm going to download this and I'm going to share with you so you can also, I mean, these are the notes, I just send them to the, to the bueno. conversation so you can have a look at them and uh, I'll talk to you then, ok? Alright, cool, man, I'll see you. Bye. Ok, bye-bye.